So the first thing with this is it's wired. If at all possible, do not soak this tube, right? If it is like, if it's just a little soil, go, well, can I get this very end, say at this very tip, there's a little soiling. Maybe we take, like we showed you before, a felt tip and we, we dip it and we try and clean it. If at all possible, we want to avoid soaking these tubes. So before we resort to the last resort, let's contact the company that you've contracted with for your home services. And then if they, if they really do not have any uh, replacement pieces for you, then we're gonna have to go through and wash the circuit. What I suggest is try and immerse the tubes, but not your connection. So you are going to try and immerse the tubes that are more proximal to the patient, that are more likely to be soiled, but make sure that the connections stay out of the water. If you are considering this, you might do something like Press and Seal now is a product that's out there that most many people have in their kitchen. And if you've got that in your kitchen, you may, you know, uh, press and seal around it individually, but also just see if it'll stick to the side of the bin, which then will protect you. That end is going to be the most important, but the entire wire is, uh, is of concern. When we're working with this, I, if at all possible, as little time in the water as you can, and then um, drain it and move it on to the clean water, okay? And again, minimize exposure time to water if we do have to, keeping the connections clean, and then doing the same thing when we move to the rinse, okay? So I would not spend 10 to 15 minutes here, just minimum time to take care of the soiling. It could be two minutes, three minutes. Swish it around, make sure uh, all the time you're keeping this dry. And then same thing here. Make sure that anything that was immersed in, in soapy water is now immersed in the rinse water and uh, drain the same, the same way as before with just stretching the tubes a little bit and then being very thorough in drying this, uh, this system before reuse. It, you know, you might even need to, um, to leave it for a considerable amount of time. If you see any dots of water at all, ensure that everything is very, very, very dry before you reuse.